Welcome back to the news hour. Well, it may have been cold and snowy, but that certainly didn't stop countless people from enjoying today's St. Patrick's Day parade. Ours, by the way, is the largest Western Canadian Celtic celebration. And as Jennifer Palma explains, the floats did not disappoint. Happy, happy. The rain didn't really dampen any of the enthusiasm of the sixth annual St. Patrick's Day parade goers. He's happy. He loves this. It's St. Patrick's Day. He's an Irish wolfhound. <laughs> About 300,000 people were expected to take part, but the snow and rain drowned out the crowds. Still, 2,000 participants marched in the parade, which had almost 100 entries. Even with this weather, isn't it wonderful? <laughs> we take that we always take our weather with us, right? Our favorite thing would have been those leprechauns. <laughs> yeah, those were really cool. It's a parade, and doesn't matter if it rains on our parade. It's still a really good time. <laughs> Good. Good atmosphere. We're cold, we're, cold. But we're enjoying the, the parade. So. The parade route was new this year as it made its way up Georgia. And this was the year to take in the event since it won't be greening up the roadways of Vancouver in 2010 due to the Olympics. Fortunately, it won't be. Most of our sponsors are tied up with the 2010 games. But they've already committed to 2011 for a bigger and better one. Oh, I think it's a shame. I think they should some do something. I don't know what. But and it should be a cultural thing. So, you know, the Olympics shouldn't only be the only thing that happens in Vancouver. St. Patrick's Day is still a couple of days away, but the famous saint came out to the parade to give his blessings. Uh, being uh, the youngest Irish man here, uh, you know, I had to dress up as St. Patrick to represent our great patron saint of Ireland. Even though the day was cold and dreary, the bright colors and sounds of the parade brought a spring to the step of many as they wait for winter to end. Oh, I will take you back. over there by himself well at the end of the news hour you'll hear about his guardian angel who's dancing with him welcome back everyone as we told you earlier in the show today thousands of people hit the streets to take in the st patrick's day parade in downtown vancouver and among those in attendance our very own mike mccardle and he met one man with a rather special guardian angel you don't need the accent or corned beef or a shamrock to feel what we all feel. <laughs> Some of us feel it all the time. When you look at this and you see people standing out here in this cold, they've been standing out here for an hour and a half. This group has kept people. And you notice they're all ethnicities here and they're all into it. Michael's right. You don't need a Mick or an O in your name to feel the spirit, but you do need to believe that magic does happen everywhere and every day. Uh, I, did, I did an impromptu um, uh, poem, uh, spoken word to my grandmother, yeah. uh, Kelly, who's been my guardian angel all my life. Oh, wow. and, 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 and I just realized I, I, it just touches something inside me. I belong to the music. 
That is all you need. The angel, the music, and the poetry. It's the, it's the blood that you gave me. It's, um, it's the reeling, feeling, wheeling, dancing, prancing, chancing. And that is being Irish. That is having a true living guardian angel. I'm really glad I have your blood in me. The blood in the veins, the veins that run, run with fun. <laughs> Thanks, Gran. Oh, that's so nice. That's part of it. Yeah. Anyway, and you know she heard you. I know she heard. She's been right here all the time. And when you're dancing with your guardian angel, you're not dancing alone. That is all you need. <laughs>